Hey everybody, I'm Lee with Olsen Equine and today we've got a very cool story on a very special barrel horse. This is Mackenzie Morgan and her great horse H2. I'm from Maryville, Tennessee. Um, this is H2. <laughs> I had a great farrier at home and I moved out here about a year ago. I just couldn't really find anyone to shoe him. He had shot him his whole life and everybody he was out doing here. good at home? He was doing great. He was really sound. Then I moved out here. He just started tripping over himself. He wasn't performing well. Just kind of fell off, just kind of went like that, and just not his normal self, and then... Um, what was he running like? He just, I mean, he did okay, he would clock well here and there, but this is, he's normally not a type of horse to just clock well here and there, normally he's going to place in the top five normally anywhere that I take him, and he just didn't perform well, he didn't fire very hard, he just ran like he was really sore, he just kind of tiptoed around the barrel, it's not something he normally does. Right, right. So... What happened, so you came here, and first thing that we did is we called your farrier, what was his name? Stephen Brittnell. Stephen Brittnell. And I called him, and so she'd been struggling with farriers before, so we didn't want to follow what we saw, so I called the guy who can keep the horse sound, and what he said is, this horse is easy to over trim, explains the getting sore, and then he says you need to lower him laterally, and he'll be a lot more happy. So I lower him laterally, and we actually end up putting it Mustad Equilibrium uh, aluminum shoe on. It's got a lot of breakover, and what we'll end up doing is we'll grind the lateral side, we'll hammer it down, and then we'll grind the lateral side so we change our trim a little bit, and then we change the shoe, and it really accommodates his conformation and anything that works to keep him happy. So here's a close up of our Mustad Equilibrium roller shoe. You can tell that we've hammered and then ground the lateral side so that it's lower than the medial side. You can also see that we use two different nails. We used a larger Mustad 5 Slim North American nail on the medial, then we used Mustad slider nails on the lateral where we ground the shoe down for a lower profile. We topped it off with, with some Thrush Buster, and then you can see that we are also aware of sole pressure, so we cupped our shoe away to prevent any sensitivity. How did it go after we shot it? Really well. Um, Lee had shot him right before I ran at the qualifier to make the semifinals, and he was really sore, just wasn't himself. And then he shot him, he went, he was second in the first round, he qualified for the semifinals, finished good in the third round, and then he's just went uphill ever since. And then he ran in the semifinals before this, previously before him shooting him, he ran a long two at north side, which was just not himself. And then the semifinals, he drug a bro and ran a 13 7, which would have made it to the performances. Wow, and that is the American semifinals. So that is super cool. So you go from a two to a seven, that's a huge change. Yeah, for sure. That's pretty awesome. So um, he's pretty sure footed on the hind end. So we do a Delta Challenger on the back. It's just a flat shoe. Um, it's very nice if you got a horse that wants to get down and needs just a little bit of slide and doesn't have traction issues. So that's what we go with with this. But, so what is your future plans for you and H2? Uh, I wrote college, I'm going to college rodeo for Tarleton. Um, hopefully we'll make the NFR one day. That's kind of our goals here and there. We you pray rodeo and I pray rodeo a little bit and that's kind of what we're sticking to. That's awesome. Well, love your story and uh, wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you. You guys have a great day. Come on! Go! Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Fourteen.